Hi there, STEAM team. This is Miss Danielle from the Kimball Library, bringing you another science experiment to do at home. Today, we are taking to the sky with some paper airplanes. So, for our paper airplanes to start, we're going to make a very basic one all together. And then, I'm going to challenge you guys to select one of the advanced designs from the link down below in the video description. I want you guys to do your best to make a fancy paper airplane and test it out at home. I want to see if your paper airplane can go farther than mine and whose paper airplane design flies the best. So before we get started on our challenges, let's make a real basic classic paper airplane. So first we're going to take our regular notebook paper. You can use any kind of paper that you got around the house, and in fact, I would like you guys to experiment with different materials to see how it affects your paper airplane and the way that it flies. So take your paper, and we are going to fold it in half the long way. Hot dog style, you might say. Open it back up again, you got this nice crease down the middle, and you're going to take the top corner of your page and tuck it in so that the top of the page is hitting that center fold crease that you just created. Like that. We're going to do this on both sides. Once you've created these creases here, we're going to bring this line to the center right here. So we are going to fold this to create a really sharp point right here and line it up as close to the middle as you can like that. We do the same thing on this side. So this line right here we're bringing to the center. So we're creating some pretty sharp angles and it helps if you make the crease with your nail or with any objects you got lying around. Now, once you've got your paper airplane so far so good, we are going to fold it right in half. So fold those creases up in the middle, like they're the filling in a delicious paper taco. And then you're going to take these little flat bits right here at the ends and fold them right on down. Now at this point, I want you guys to make some adjustments and see what you think. Because here's my question. If I fold this line down to meet the bottom here, like so, that's a pretty short wing, but it probably flies pretty straight. If I fold it over more so that it goes past this line here, so that the wing extends a little bit, does it fly better or worse? I'm leaving that up to you guys, because here's your finished airplane. Now, here's my challenge for you, because that wasn't so hard. You guys can break this out in no time, I know. Here's where it gets tricky, and here's where I'm trusting you guys to be curious and use the scientific method. One, I want you guys to figure out which airplane design flies the best. And a part of that is deciding what it means to fly the best. Does it mean farthest? Does it mean tricks? Are we going for loop-de-loops? You see what you think. Two, I want you guys to see the different kinds of materials that you use for your paper airplane. Do you have construction paper? Do you have computer paper? Do you have regular old notebook paper? Tissue paper would probably be a really frustrating experiment, but it might be interesting. See what happens. How does it influence how the plane folds and how it flies? And lastly, I want you to test your paper airplanes and see how far you can make them fly. If you guys email me your paper airplane flight paths, let me know how far they got and I will make the winner a special prize. So, let me know how it goes. Send me pictures of your excellent paper airplane designs. I'm so excited to see them. 
I will see all of you guys very soon. Bye now.